This is an interactive generative instrument built in Max MSP. Um, the idea of interactive generative is that it is partially under the user's control and partially not. So the, the machine does some interesting things and the user can interact with it in different ways. Um, so, yeah, it's designed for um, kicking out notes in particular keys, but it could also be used for generating interesting rhythm and rhythmic effects, even um, chucking out um, MIDI controllers for automation parameters and things like that. Um, it's designed to be used for both composition and performance. Uh, so what it does to generate the arpeggios is it takes in um, two notes and calculates the interval. So if you look at these two keyboards here, okay, so we'll just set it to an octave to start with. Um, we can set the thing going. And then we've got some normal kind of arpeggiator settings such as number of notes. So this could be, the note separation can be linked to, uh, could be linked to a millisecond time, um, or we can do it, we can sync it to the tempo here, or there could be a generative uh, engine used, which I'll come to in a minute. Uh, we've got an engine here for different uh, arpeggiated patterns, so up and down, random, slightly randomised, that kind of thing. Uh, there's velocity and velocity variation, so let's set this going again. Turn the velocity up. You can see the amount is varying here. There's also then an inverse button. Similar thing with duration. Okay, so those can make the uh, instrument a little bit more expressive, which is part of the idea. Uh, okay, let's try some different note intervals now. Okay, so that might suit you, it might not. Um, one thing I was thinking of was that if you're using this for song material, you might want to do use a particular key. So there is a note filter uh, where you can put in um, notes that you want to filter out and then stick that list into a filter um, and store it if you like, so you can just take that message that gets generated as a list of notes we want to filter out as, as MIDI note numbers, open that, and so I want a C uh, minor filter, and chuck that in there, um, put it in the filter, and then we can switch the filter on. So we'll just hear again that interval without the filter, and let's switch the filter on. So what happens is some notes are just completely filtered out, so that uh, changes the rhythm because we start getting gaps in, in, our, in our rhythm, which again is part of the generative process really. Hopefully that will generate some happy accidents. Um, we can also use a generative um, pulse as well, uh, we'll just have a quick look at that. Um, this is downloaded from these guys. Um, who came up with this um, kin.rhythmicator, that's cool. 
Um, it's a generative engine, so we can control how many notes there are. We can control how repetitive the rhythms are, uh, the, the time base of them, the quantized base of them, and whether they're syncopated or, or non-metrical. So we have control over the rhythm, um, but we can't specify exactly what the rhythm is. The system will, will decide that itself. It's again part of the, the idea of this. So let's hear a bit of that. So less notes. That's it. Um, I will be uploading this onto nationaltrevor.com um, at some point and probably uh, updating it and expanding it a little bit more. Um, I've just done this, so I haven't really composed anything with it. So hopefully there'll be some compositions coming as well shortly. <laughs>